Okay, this is my uh, shuffleboard table control unit that we just picked up for refurbishing. And excuse the shorts, it was a little warm today, so I put some shorts on. And uh, the unit uh, was seized up in most of the controls, um, mostly mechanical as you can see, so I had to free them up with a little bit of CRC and I used some uh, choke cleaner. This choke cleaner will evaporate completely and not leave a residue. And there's a lot of uh, electrical contacts in here, so I didn't want to cause a fire. But I got them working pretty well. They're still, still a little sluggish. The springs don't always return. I have to help it. But I'll get those move more free in time. And uh, the unit didn't come with uh, fuse caps and the fuse holders for some reason. So uh, before I could find some fuse caps, I threw some fuses in there and just jammed them in with some aluminum foil. Don't try that at home. I'm an electrical engineer. I know what I'm doing and I'm watching this very carefully. I never leave it unattended. And I've got my emergency power switch right here just in case. But that's enough to get me going because I was excited to get this thing going. I've never seen one of these before. Um, this is the uh, button controller for controlling the blue and the red score. There's actually one of these located on each table. I only needed one because they're in parallel. And uh, these are connectors as you can see. And the, the actual board is out in the garage. Uh, it's one of those 1950s style, you know, laminated wood grain, simulation wood grain finish, which we don't like. So uh, we're gonna, I'm going to put the whole thing in a nice poplar credenza that's going to go right here against that back wall. We're going to move the TV and some other stuff. So I'm going to, you know, use the same thing. I, I'm on the fence whether I'm going to use this electronics or just re revamp it down to make it with maybe a small microcontroller which would be nice because then I didn't ha I wouldn't have to put this whole drawer in the credenza and that would be more storage. But for the time being I'm going to leave it like like it is and I'll probably just use the, uh, the original panel and probably put LEDs in it because you know I don't like light bulbs. They burn out. Um, most all, all the lights are working. None of them burnt out except some of them don't really uh, light up right now. As you can see, number six doesn't light, and that's because there's a lot of corrosion in the uh, uh, scale on, on the connectors, probably from handling over the years. And it, you know, you, fungus will grow on anything. It's just like a white scaly stuff that I have to clean off. So most of the bulbs I got working, you know, they'll pop in and out on me from time to time. But all the bulbs were intact. I wiped them off. They were full of crud. You know, you've got to figure this thing is like circa 1950. I'm, I'm guessing. And it came with the coin unit, which is pretty cool. Never saw one of these before. And uh, here's all the mechanisms. And if you watch, I'm going to drop a quarter in. And it's going to go down. And there we go. Okay, uh, sorry about the break in action again. My camera only co uh, records so many seconds at a time. I apologize. I don't know why. I need to read the manual. There must be a way of it prolonging it because there's plenty of memory on it. So where I left off is the, here's the coin control unit. I got some photos on the web that I can post that show you the details of it. But it's a pretty cool mechanical contraption. You put the quarter in, slide it down, and if it passes all the tests, it comes down at the bottom, and we have one credit. Unfortunately, this game requires two coins to play. At least that's the way it was upgraded. I'm sure originally it was probably just a quarter. Okay. And you can actually... Uh, that will jump right ahead to five coins. Horse collar, 51 points. So those of you who play shuffleboard, um, you'll know that uh, that's a pretty interesting game. And again, you can first, first team to score 51 points. Hey, 51 points, game over. So it was uh, 51 to 46 on horse collar. Game over. The logic is all here. Now if you watch, as soon as you insert another coin, and I'm going to just drop that. Actually, I'll just do it from down here. Um, as soon as you insert another coin, all the counters are going to reset. There you go. Everything's back. Now you see they're a little sticky. The one there. There we go. And then you put another quarter in. And you're ready to play the two-player game. So anyway, this is the uh, I got details and photos of this as well. You got your um, your your blue score counter, your red score counter, your coin counter, your reset relay, your game over game on relay, and all the rest of transition connectors and the power supply, which outputs just AC volts. 
Um, one is uh, 12 volts for the bulbs, and the other one is, uh, looks like 48 volts for the solenoids and relays. And that's about it. So uh, once I get it built into a new credenza and make it a little more modern and finish off the, uh, the, the table needs finishing too because the surface was destroyed. But uh, we'll get going here. Thank you.